And welcome everybody here on Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Bugler in Historic. As you all know, this is one of my favorite Historic decks, a deck that I think is really strong in Historic and is fun to play with all the ETB effects. We are taking advantage of the M19 card, Militia Bugler. You know, whenever it enters, look at the top four cards of your library, reveal a creature with power two or less from among them to put into your hands. And so the Militia Bugler gives us the card advantage. You know, it can find any part of our explore package, grab us Fauna Shaman, Charming Prince. You can grab Charming Prince. Charming Prince can then flicker the Militia Bugler, go again. You get removal though with Chupacabra. The main reason why I want to do this is because, you know, we got removal before Chupacabra, but now with Throne of Eldraine, we get Murderous Rider with Bugler. And that's pretty awesome. Getting a card like Murderous Rider that you can use for removal for anything, you know, for, uh, well, creatures or planeswalkers, not necessarily anything. Um, but for other permanents, we got Knight of Autumn over here too. We got Plague Mare, which is another great Militia Bugler hit. Bunch of good stuff. Bugler also works very well with Soren, being able to, being able to bring it back. You know, you can play Bugler on turn three. You can block with it, trade, uh, then play your Soren, uh, rebuy your Bugler, get the other trigger again. Lots and lots of awesome uh, card advantage here. So let's let's uh, go ahead and try this out. We're going to play some ranked with it, traditional historic ranked. We're going to play like five matches over in ranked. Uh, I haven't I haven't done that before my tai tai but um yeah I've never really never really done that before but um <laughs> you need more historic cards <laughs> yeah historic's pretty sweet um oh shelter says I've been using this deck a lot lately we're having issues against aggro decks could play some sweepers in the sideboard If you want, I was hoping that like the life gain with Wild Growth Walker, and um, and you know just like Chupacabra is very good against aggro, but just the the life gain with Wild Growth Walker and the life gain with Soren, just the ability to put bodies out there. But yeah, it could have like some sweepers in the sideboard. But yeah, my Tai Tai, feel free to send me a deck list though, and I'll I'll think about if I if I like the list. throw it in there. I'll play it sometime. Alright, so Esper Control is all about the card advantage. We want to take another Bugler, so we can have, you know, Bugler hit Bugler. We don't want to extend too much into Akaya's Wrath. Yeah, that's that is very true. Mono red in historic is really really good. But that's the other problem. If we don't extend enough. We don't have the pressure. Ooh, murderous rider is awesome. Get removal for Teferi. Killing the Esper Planeswalkers is really important. Waticus, 16 months. Thank you, Waticus. This is pretty annoying now. I didn't want to play it enough, you know, like I wanted just to put that pressure on, but now I feel like I need to play another creature. Because I'll play Choop. <laughs> Sorry, other Radicus. 
We have two Atticuses. Alright, looks like they got this first game with Ascanta going to the focus and discipline encounter no obstacles. Ascanta is going to drown me out. Hone your prowess. Tilt, my one creature in my whole deck that I can't grab with Militia Bugler, the Midnight Reaper. We got a pretty good sideboard, though, for this matchup. Okay. Yeah, we got Duress, Knight of Autumn, Midnight Reaper, Vivian Reed. A lot of stuff to bring in here. Cool. Cool, Kakashi. I like it. All right. Have a great day. Hey, Hawkeye, you seem like you're doing better. Yeah, you already seem like you're doing better. Well, it seems like they don't have another Wrath, which that's good for me. Because it seems like it would be pretty easy to slam Wrath pass with Absorb available. But they're not doing that. Let's slow this down. Why would they talk bugler? Isn't that the You need to slow down? Like they're they're gonna be able to absorb anyway, so there we go. Get that out of here. They obviously have a. They don't have a Wrath right now, but they have a lot more looks with this Ascanta. The thing is, is, is I'm not winning a long game against Ascanta. I have to try to end the game as fast as I can. 
I can't, this isn't, I don't have the luxury of playing around rats anymore because this Kanta is just going to bury me. Whiff. They just all go to the bottom. Darn. I'm known for my excellent timing. Tick up. Elevator going up. Elevator going up. No. The card's good. I have a plan. I'm not going to target the graveyards with my mouse because I don't want them to be thinking about Command the Red Horde. Could be game though. They can, you know, they can instant speed wrath. We got it. We didn't even have to show Command the Dreadhorde. Good. Yeah, Night of Autumn destroying Ascanta is pretty important, but I, we can't really play lots of Night of Autumns. This is 63. Vivian also destroys Knight of or destroys Ascanta 2. 62. The Buglers would have 20 hits right now. I don't think I caught a bugler though. Even though they could be whiffing. Basically just like Wild Growth Walker isn't that great, but just keeping the one to gain enough life because of command and citadel. We have Soren and Charming Prince to gain life. I don't need Wild Growth Walker. All right, it's gone. Um... Nah, Citadel's awesome. It's the best card not banned in standard shakeup. Venerate Luxodon? Luxodon? 
could be Knight of the Oven Legion. Oh, I, I could have cut a land, actually. That's what I should... I could have cut a land. Yeah, I forgot. I cut a land a lot with this deck. Especially we were on the draw in this slow matchup. I, I could have cut a land. I could have maybe even cut two lands. Gonna play the card they know about. Beadler's gonna miss a little bit. That's just something we're gonna have to live with. With the cyborg configuration. You're welcome, OG. Man, I wish I would have cut two lands. At least one land. These explorer creatures help us hit lands. If I play Soren and they just veto Soren, that's just a horrible turn for me. Don't worry, I got this. Castle Ardenville is so great. I should have a Castle Art and Veil in my deck. There's really no reason for me not to have a Castle Art and Veil in here. With like all these extra lands and stuff. I don't, I don't have like any castles. I have I have too many. My man is too good. My man is too good. I need to play some castles. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. Instead of get like Bugler to look for another two drops, I wanted to look for like Vivian Command. I wanted to look for my imp bigger impactful cards. Finale of Glory. That yeah, was not a card I was expecting there, Hawkeye. <laughs> yeah. That's something you won't hardly ever hear me complain about, but I do think our mana is, is actually just too good.
responsibility. Guess I shouldn't have to really worry about a wrath. I have to worry about a counter spell. Didn't want to kill Soren, just wanted to do damage to me. Yeah, Mono Black Aggro played really well. Sorry, I'm late. No time for a break. Uh, Rivendell, no, Rivendestel, there we go, Rivendestel, a brand new Twitch Prime sub, thank you so much for that support. Let's see if they have Veto, hopefully not. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Cool. I'll show the straight. <clears throat> um uh, I guess this wasn't good. If I no, this exile wasn't good. I should have gained life. Yeah, because it's just going to come back, and then I'm going to have to just put that down to the bottom. Oh, right. Never mind. We just draw it. I still should just gain life. Yeah, definitely should have gained life. Oh, you're welcome. So thanks for all of the good content and the sweet decks. Well, thank you. Yeah, thanks for the support. You know what? I'm not done yet. So basically, by flickering, I just drew my top card that I knew about. So instead, I could have either gained three life or drawn one card, and I, I drew a card. But I think at this point, I need to gain the life. Yeah, Soren grants life link, but that means that we'd have to attack with our creatures. I, it's pretty unlikely that we're attacking with our creatures. We can gain life with Knight of Autumn. Well, life, I mean, it would be nice to be able to go Swift End, the Teferi, Shock, Command the Dreadhorde, get stuff back. You know, so it would be nice to have a lot of life. That's, I know that costs a lot of life of what I'm talking about.
I'd be surprised by settle the wreckage, but they had to get rid of they had to get rid of that to ferry for a reason. Just went to chemistry's insight. Yeah, that was me playing around Settle and keeping a 2-3 back. We shall rebuild. Sweet. Man, our deck is awesome. All right, let's take a look at our mana here. Yeah, okay, we won. Can we play a Castle Ardenvale somewhere? We got 16 green, 16 black right now. I don't know. Maybe it's not necessary. I feel like we could have castles, you know, like the black castle also. I feel like we could play some castles. It is nice having such good mana, though. All right, that's just something to think about.
play an Arch of Arazka. Arch costs a lot of mana. I think I like Black Castle more. But you don't have to pay life with Black Castle. Shout out my Plague Mare. All right, now we gotta draw green land. I knew it when it came down to it. Couldn't make my mana worse. That's true. It's true. Well, this is obviously just a great combination of cards that my opponents had. Wonderful draw. Their socks work perfectly with the Adanto Vanguard. Works very well. Vivian does kill flyers. So we'll just put in removal, take out cards that deals damage. I think we should still have enough card advantage with the buglers and everything. Thanks, Grumpy. Yeah, this deck is sweet. Draw green land this time. We didn't last time. Let's do it this time. Could be the saddest turn three ever if we don't draw this green land. Or, yeah, we call it either the best hand or the worst hand ever. Yep. You know, they could definitely just have like baffling end, but I'm, I'm okay with that with them having less cards as long as we draw the green land. Like that's that's the thing that matters. Still. A couple cards short. So I could, 
Could just play like Chupacabra or Soren this next turn, and then I can double Jade Light the following turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go Soren. Bring back Charming Prince. Have Charming Prince flickered, Jade Light. Jade Light, come back. Get another Jade Light. I understand you are in seeing yourself what I see in you. You kill this a Johnny. That's what I had to do to kill the Johnny. I guess they think they're winning the race. They, they probably don't know that I have four jade lights. <laughs> Maybe a little surprised. Basically playing J Light first, see if we get a land. Not a land, but a very good one. It's gonna be a lot of lifelink. So I don't wanna bugler that thing away. Gonna make it hard for them to pay for life for Vanguard at this point by just attacking them. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to play Knight of Autumn against Sister Benalia. Fauna Shaman's probably a little too slow. We'll cut a temple garden. 
have cut my curve quite a bit. No, Soren only does damage to players and planeswalkers. It doesn't do damage to creatures. I could not kill their spirit token with Soren. Yuck. Don't you hate mulliganing? It's like four lands with perfect mana and three spells and I have to mulligan. Ugh, give me back that perfect mana. This hand's not very good. Oh, it got a lot better. Hopefully they have multiple vanguards like they've had every game. Yeah. Got rid of two vanguards. That's good. All right, gonna look for Wild Growth Walker. Didn't find it yet. Gains three life, or flickers the Night of Autumn to gain four life, or flicker the Bugler to find Wild Growth Walker. Oh, that's bad. That's better, though. Attacking with Vigilance just lets them trade their Tithe Taker for a 1-1 and get that 1-1 in the air right right there and then be able to attack for 3 in the air this turn. Kinship ensures I'll be strong. Capable of more than you assume. Wild Growth Walker. Sure. Uh, 
Obviously, they draw removal, I die. It's a risky line. Yeah, so, so yeah, scary. I sure will. So close. So they have Castle Ardenville. We're going to have to outgrind Castle Ardenville with Militia Bugler. Drawing my second Legion's End would be really nice. Um, I would probably recommend Ionize over Sabotage mana-wise if, if you have Ionize. That hurts. Three formations. And that formation really hurt. Oh, that really hurts too. That's a great draw. Looks like they got this. Thank you. 
I guess I still have an amazing hit. I have Playcrafter. Or Plague Mare. That's that's the one I meant to say. Plague Mare. Plague Mare. Plague Mare, don't you dare. Get these flyers out of here. Thank you. I think they need to tap the... Have the vigilance creature. That was a turn for me. Draw on Soren. Get back Bugler. Get the Plague Mare. That was a turn. Get my life total back up. That was a turn. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too big on Quench either. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Could be playing, you know, like Conclave Tribunal or anything like that, too, besides History Banalia. Yeah, they're using this. This is from the um, Secret Lair. It's definitely a really cool card back. I demand. Choop. Choop. Choop a loop. Choop a loop. There's the old HOB. Blow up this giant killer so we can start attacking with the Plague Mare. Plague Mare gonna get him. Don't expect them just to be playing, you know, like a Wrath, but we can just hold on to the Wild Growth Walker just in case. We don't have to put it out on the battlefield right now. It's not like. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, the Plague Mare, I guess if. Plague Mare cannot be blocked by white creatures, so the Plague Mare is unblockable. What a match. That was an awesome, awesome match. Very well played by the opponent. We just got there. That Soren into Plague Mare turn was incredible. <laughs> there you go, Grumpy. So you just played this deck against a Mono White Life Gain deck and made them concede it with the power of Blinkin' Chupacabras. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I've never seen these sleeves. The country sleeves. <laughs> he just fist bumped IRL dice. Oh, thanks, Deacon. Should probably keep the choop against the green deck.
Wildwood Tracker. Um, let's get the wild growth first. <clears throat> no, those are not. No, Oko and Once Upon a Time are not legal and historic. Hey, Forks. Hope you've had a wonderful day watching football. And yeah, come at the right time to see the last deck of the day. So, of course, I am worried about Embocleave. Chupacabra is, like, better on its own, but just to pair... You know, we got to pair Wild Growth and Jade Light together. Okay. It's a good one. That's so enticing just to play Soren and tick up and kill the Domri. Maybe if I wouldn't have blocked last turn, I'd be able to do that. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Okay, no Ember Cleave. really annoying. I like having the Jade Light be a 4-3, so we have two two more blockers to be able to block these two ones. Come and destroy. I guess Anarch of Volos and Love Struck Beast don't work so well together. <clears throat> yeah, kind of have that covered. Yeah, kind of have this all covered.
Um, I don't know if the points expire. I think I think somebody said that the points were going away, like, at the beginning of the year. I bow to no one. Hmm. I kind of wanted them to minus the Domri and go to one loyalty so my Soren would kill it. Only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> so I'm going to be looking for. Hey, Sonar Loser, thank you so much. Well, not that. <laughs> Not that. I was going to say, I'm looking for... Uh, thanks for the bits. Uh, Murderous Rider. That's what we're looking for. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. <laughs> Whoa, so did our loser. Getting some more biddies in here. Bring that new year cheer. Thank you very much. Oh, what? Can't finish your job. We have so many good options. You know, Chupacabra is great. A Bugler. Bugler may have whiffed again. When you had two of them, there were lands. I was raised by wolves. They do not want to do any fighting. There's the rider. I don't know. I don't know what they're looking for. Probably like peace, love, and understanding. They're probably asking the same thing about me. Like, what am I looking for? Uh... All right, more troops. Um, could play Night of Autumn to destroy Embercleave if they have Embercleave. We didn't see any cleaves. I don't need Citadel Command Command, though.
We'll go one command still and play two Knight of Autumns. Yeah, Plague Mare would kill the X1s. That's true. I should probably I should play the Plague Mare. <clears throat> yeah, I should have the Plague Mare in there. Especially with them seeing, you know, we saw a Wildwood Tracker to go along with Land War Elf and um, Legion War Boss. Yeah, I, I should be playing. I should be playing Plague Mare. Well, this could be awesome. Please don't have removal for Wild Growth Walker. Or Wild Growth Walker. Either one. Don't kill either one. We got turn two boss. No removal. You have turn two boss, turn three cleave. It's like already dead. How are they not attacking with Warboss also? I don't know, I'm glad. Come on, Greenland. No. Branch Walker. I kind of feel like I need to just play the Branch Walker and I don't have time for a Wild Growth. No, that's probably not true. I have time for a Wild Growth. No, yeah, that's not true. Because that, that Wild Growth is just going to gain a lot of life and be large and in charge as well. Yeah, play more one ones and two twos. No removal. Yeah, there. Yeah, I like this. I like no removal, no ember cleave. They probably don't have shock. Like if they had shock, like I can probably block. Probably would have killed a Wild Growth Walker the last turn if they had shock. Oh, boo. Ouch. So am I dead? Block here, block here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Yeah, I'm taking exact lethal. Ugh. What, you want me to double block war boss with my two one threes? I guess I could have done that. Yeah, it's exact lethal. Just in case I counted wrong. Wonderful hand. GG. Yeah, I gotta get this Plague Mare back in here. Especially with them playing Lovestruck Beast. Killing 1 1s is important. Yeah, Fauna Shaman is a yeah two mana two two. We can uh, tap it, discard it for one mana. Tap one mana, discard any creature, and go put any other creature from our hand into from our library into our hand. Just has such good upside, especially late game. You know, go find another Chupacabra, go find another Jade Light, go find a Wild Growth Walker. You know, it's just it's just so good in, in the long games. Yeah, I could have played the Explore Creature on turn three. The 
yeah, that probably would have kept me alive. Gray merchant in this deck, probably, probably not. No, I don't. I don't think you'd have enough. No. Not really enough black pips and kind of slow. But yeah, you you can find bu yeah bugler can grab you gray merchant. I I just don't think you play like the explore package. You could play like a black white deck and and focus more on the black uh, devotion for gray merchant. But that could be pretty cool. Alright, well, if they have turn two war boss again, at least we have a blocker now. Yeah, you could definitely play one or two Path of Discovery with this deck. Um, probably over one of like the six drops or a Soren. The Sorens have been super clutch though, but Path of Discovery can be that as well. That's that turn didn't go that w well for me. That was the card I did not want to see at all. Ouch. That made that made playing the Soren very bad. Nothing anymore. Not one card. Questing Beast Ember Cleave is still broken. Alright, well I got 
got super, super punished for my line there playing the Soren whenever I did instead of just playing Knight of Autumn as a 4-3. Whoops, wrong way. I just play Knight of Autumn as a 4-3. We could trade with Questing Beast. Or even trade with their other 4-3. Bring it back then with the Soren as another 4-3. Ugh, that hurt. Yeah, Sorens have been awesome. Frequently been one of my best cards. The Minus is just too good in this deck. There's too many good cards to grab with the Minus. No, I could have played a lot better game than I did that last game. I, I played that game three pretty poorly with everything that we saw. So usually against Forest, I'd really want to keep Murderous Rider. I don't have another Black Source, but maybe I should just keep it anyway. I don't know. Should have taken the wild growth. Wild growth was the high upside play. The Charming Prince was the safe play to flicker bugler. Out of here, beast. From Gully. Get some counters on stuff.
So four, seven, ten. What? That didn't work. Didn't add encounters on this these things. Yeah, I would have thought they would have got counters. Yeah, I wanted that murderous rider with the counter. Uh, what card do I want? Choop. Yeah, maybe that's a bug. I don't know. I don't know. So this seems like normal gruel where I don't really need Plague Mare as much. So we saw... Citadel has the, oppor the ability to break the game open... You know, I'll play Vivian and or Command does. You know, like last time I had Command, maybe I'll play Vivian instead of Command because Vivian Vivian can still win a board stall kind of like Command can, like if we stabilize. But then Vivian can also destroy Embercleave. Yeah, I'm still pretty sure that that should, should have worked, but it didn't. That might be a bug. Maybe they haven't had too many people play Grum Goalie Command the Dread Horde together. Oh, wait, you pulled up Oracle info? Oracle info states any other non human creature that enters the battlefield at the same time as Grum Goalie won't get a plus one plus one counter. Huh. So it's saying it it has to be in play. Grim like Grim has to be in play to be active to see the others. That's huh. Would not have really expected that. No green mana, unfortunately. Oh, cancel. Are you lands? Um,
I'm pretty surprised they gave me the they went emblem route with Chandra. I thought they were gonna minus four and kill the wild growth walker, to be honest. Hope it's not too hot for you. Come on, land. Ugh. Just can't get this land. Certainly two lands I needed right there. That was really disappointing. Could a bugler to get another Knight of Autumn in here. Yeah, we've we've really struggled with the the two green for Jade Light today. Yeah, emblem. Yeah, planeswalker emblem stack. Yeah, yeah, you can have multiple of those. Because we have the Jade Light, we should be able to find another land just fine. Mm. That hurts. Alright, well they missed the land drop. Let's get aggressive. Alright, good night, Rankler. Just get two for ones. All our deck is. Two for one, two for one, two for one. You kill their thing and get a creature. 
Kill their thing, get a creature. Kill their thing, get a creature. So I did that three turns in a row. Life link. And we're three and one. All right, one more game for our 12 hour stream. We've been streaming for 11 hours and 40 minutes. Let's get one more match. Let's go 4 1. Oh, because I misspelled Bugler. Yeah, no, no updates right now uh, on the house hunt. You know, I'm going to be leaving the 8th through the 11th to take a look at a few houses that I like and you know be able to actually see them in person and everything before i buy something lots of shocks We don't really want either of those. It's not double. It's not our second black source that we need for these. We already got a Soren. If that land was a black land, I would keep it. But just green white. I do not want it. So good, good use of scries. Two cards I didn't want to draw. Yeah, plan it to you, JJ. Hopefully it all works out. And then the innkeeper afterwards, they could attack with the beast. Unbreakable formation has been awesome. See, I kind of want to play Vivian and Knight of Autumn, but I also kind of don't want to cut any of these cards.
Hmm. I don't know. I don't really like taking out a Beagler. <laughs> Make a 63 card deck. Okay, good opener. The green black lands are definitely the best lands for us to have. That's where we've been struggling, is we've been having too many green white lands sometimes and not at black mana, or black white lands and not the green mana. These are definitely the best lands. Because when we're, you know, we want to play Murderous Rider and Jade Light Ranger. You know, like, so we want double green, double black. We really only need just like the one white source. I won't show him the Plague Mare yet. That's definitely a card I could grab. I couldn't cast it before this turn anyway. If we were going to grab it. I can still discard this Jaylight Ranger. I can, can bring it back with Soren. We can go find, like, Chupacabra, if need be. And then I can have, then I can just play Soren minus three, bring, bring back Jade Light. I could just hold on to it as well. Just hold on to it. The ring of my sword is your death knell. I require your body, not your soul. I think I should have gone and grab grabbed a choop. They are marching the multitudes, interesting. One 
march into unbreakable formation it's pretty difficult to beat if they have that as well hopefully not hmm I hope they attack with his Luxon. I don't know why they would, but I hope they do. I need to kill this Plague Mare, but I can't. No, we don't have any more, but we have Charming Prince that can flicker it. Hey, Baloney Pony. Yeah, everything's gone well today. Thanks for watching the replays and everything, too. I abhor my need for blood. I mean, you can't you can't double charming prince, but just because you you just can't do that, because if it doesn't come back to end step. I need the plague mare to be dead, and I need to bring it back with Soren and then flicker it. So if they have any way to pump, I'm dead. If they don't, I have a chance. I don't know. Like, their deck looks pretty cool. All that stuff is just legal and standard, right? Is it just better in Historic? Their deck was pretty cool, though. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they both times, you know, they had March of the Multitudes, and I, I could, I could have Plague Mirror the next turn, but I couldn't, I didn't get to Plague Mirror either turn, uh, you know, between Luxodon and Unbreakable Formation for those cards. Should have brought in Duress. Eh. I, yeah, I mean, I guess so. 
I guess so. But couldn't they, couldn't they just play that same deck in standard, right? Like, if we just put put that deck together in standard, there's... Is it just better in the historic metagame? But anyway, there we go. There's Abzan Bugler. Uh, yeah, we saw both of our losses to some aggressive decks getting underneath us. Does seem like we could use like two Wraths in the sideboard. Plague Mare is nice, but feels like we could use like two Wraths. I mean, they'd basically be over the Legion's Ends. The Legion's End was really good multiple times too. I mean, I guess we could we could just play two Knight of Autumns. Um yeah, we could we could take out a Knight of Autumn. And then we could probably take out a Midnight Reaper. Midnight Reaper is basically just for control. We already have duress. Vivian, and we saw we could out kind of outgrind control. We could probably take out Knight of Autumn too. So we'll probably take out those two, play like two Kaya's Wraths. Because then that, another person that that um, was here in chat saying they play the deck a lot, they they've struggled with like that's like the time they lose also is to like those creature decks, to some aggro. So we get like two Kaya's Wraths in here and just surprise them. Um, Realm Cloak Giant is a little too big for Militia Bugler. Just a tad. So we can't we can't really I mean you could fetch it you could fetch Realm Cloak Giant with Fauna Shaman. I guess you could there. I was thinking Kaiserath because of the gain life, honestly. You know, like how you get to gain life, you know, like you destroy a couple, you know, you destroy like two of your creatures, you gain life with it. That's what I was thinking, Kaiserath, but the one of Fauna Shaman could find your Realm Cloak Giant. Which maybe that's maybe that's important. It would have been important in that game. I wouldn't want to play two. I mean, so, like, might as well split them, right? Like, might as well have, like, the one Realm Cloak Giant to be able to find. Or the Kaya's Wrath. Cool. <clears throat> um, could be a Saddle the Wreckage. What if we do Settle the Wreckage with this deck? Because, you know, like, we're a creature deck. Maybe we don't want to kill our own stuff. What if we just play, like, two Settles? What if we do that? People probably won't be expecting Settle that much. I know Gruul Spellbreaker stops it, but whatever. There's a lot of decks, other decks. You know, it exiles like those Adanto Vanguards. What we, I think, yeah, that would, that would make sense here. Let's just play two settles. Don't have to kill our own stuff. We get to kind of sit back. They have to, like, extend, attack with a bunch of stuff. I like it. So why are we only playing one Fauna Shaman? Because that's kind of, like, all I found room for. I don't know. Fauna Shaman is pretty awesome. We never really did anything with Citadel that game. Or those those games. And for how aggressive the format is, like could take out Citadel, I suppose. Yeah, nobody plays around Citadel. Path of Discovery is pretty broken with Wild Growth Walker. I don't know. Things to kind of play around with. Um, another Fauna Shaman, like taking out Citadel and putting in Fauna Shaman would hurt the control matchup a ton. You know, like we're, we're taking out one of our best cards against control and putting in a card that's not very good against control. So that would really hurt that matchup a lot. 
Yeah, I wish we could play e Eternal Witness. I mean, we basically do a Soren. Soren's basically Ewit. Could just be Vivian in the main instead of Citadel, though. Vivian's pretty awesome against everything. Maybe we should just do that. Maybe we should just play Vivian in the main. Give us main deck removal for Embercleave. It kills Flyers and get to that ultimate. Vivian's just awesome. Yeah, I think we should probably just do that instead of Citadel. Even though Citadel's pretty awesome too. But it didn't really seem like we needed Citadel there in those games. Okay. Uh, there we go. Um, another kind of bad part about Settle, though, is Settle doesn't work as well with the Explore creatures. Because, you know, like you explore the Settle to the top and then keep it, and then your opponent plays around it. So, like, that part is kind of awkward, but I think I'd still like to try it. Sometimes they just can't, you know, like we have like the creatures that like kind of force them to attack early wide anyway, because they, otherwise they don't get to attack. This deck is sweet. This deck's a lot of fun to play. And I think it's close. I mean, I think, I think it's pretty close. I think we're getting closer and closer every time we play the deck. Okay. <clears throat> Questing Beast just isn't found by Bugler. But, yeah, basically that's why we're not playing that. All right, but there we go. It is midnight 02. We have finished 12 hours of streaming. Hope everybody on YouTube, hope you really enjoyed our 12-hour stream today. Hope you all enjoyed the, the standard shakeup, the standard shakeup stack. Um, we had a lot of fun with that format. I had a fun today. You know, we had a lot of, a lot of fun decks and everything. Um, but yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you hit the like button on the video and leave comments and everything. If you're playing Abzan Bugler also, let me know how it's going for you. Let me know what you think about these changes. Also afterwards, how we were talking about these changes. Let me know what, what you think. If you think the settles would be good. If you like Vivian in the main, um, yeah, leave those comments. All right, uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year, and I'll see you for the next video.